Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and reviewing and unboxing a mini condenser shotgun microphone from Kamika. This is the CVM VM10 II and it's a little mini shotgun mic. It's good for smartphones, DSLRs and regular camcorders and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get it out of the box. I'm gonna flip my camera around just so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'll go over the features and benefits with you and show you what it comes with. And then you can make up your decision whether or not you think you wanna buy one of these based on my review. Uh, and then I'll give you my overall thoughts. So let's get the camera flipped around. We'll get, the, we'll get this review underway. All right, so here you go. Here's the CVM V10, VM10 II. So yeah, it's a cardioid microphone. It's mini. It says it's really small and light. It has a shock mount, super anti-interference, and it's available. It's, it's built for smartphone, GoPro, and or camera. So that's cool. It has multiple options. It has a professional um, or a wind muff that's, you know, also comes with it, which is great. It's also powered by the actual camera or the device itself. So there's no battery for it. But yeah, let's get it out of the packaging and let's see what this thing comes with. Oh, I like that already. So it comes in a nice little branded case. Nice little soft case that's going to protect your device or protect your mic. That's kind of cool. And it's also branded with the company logo, which, you know me, I'm a big fan of the branding. It also has a little loop right here on the side, so you can also put a little carabiner through that and connect it to a backpack if you want to. But let's see what we got. All right, so first things first, we have your... Little notice, to avoid interference, please make sure Wi-Fi of your phone is set to off, and then best condition is airplane mode. Okay, so it's just a little disclaimer, don't communicate by the, by the phone during audio recordings, which cause extra inter uh, signal interference. For the iOS system smartphones, iPhones, the mic works well either in audio or video mode. And Android system smartphone, the mic works well in audio mode, but video mode only supports partial. Then we suggest you try third-party video app. The mic does not support the real-time audio monitor, but only support playback audio monitor. So just something to consider there. Here's your owner's manual. Got to have that. You have a warranty card, 12-month warranty, so that's cool. And here we go. So here's your um, shock mount with your cold shoe. So that's going to keep all the noise and interference down. You have a foam wind muff here. You have the actual microphone right here, which is actually really nice. It's very similar in uh, shape to a road mic. It says assembled in China, but you can just see the, the quality in here is actually really, really nice. It's metal, branded, so that's kind of nice. And the way this would work is basically you kind of just get your mount. And I want to say it goes right here, just like so. And that's your... That's your shock mount right there. So that's kind of nice. And then your little guy, little wind muff goes on the end here. And there's your microphone. And it does have your jack output right here. So that's going to plug into your, this one goes into the mic. The other one goes into the audio input of the camera. So we'll set that off to the side. Let's see what else it comes with. So here's your audio cable. This is for camera and camcorder. 3.5 millimeter with a nice little stretchy cable. This one is your TRSS cable. This is for smartphones, so it says right there, for smartphones. That's really beneficial for somebody like me because I shoot a lot of video with my iPhone. And here's the dead mouse. Here's the dead mouse, so what we'll do is we'll get this on there. It's a little stretchy kind of a deal. So you would take this one off, and you would get this guy on here, like so. And then boom, you have your dead mouse mic. That's really going to help down with uh, wind. Take that off. Put this little guy back on for now. But really, but a really nice case. I mean, everything is hard foam, so that's gonna keep everything all nice and 
compact and protected most importantly. You can take everything apart, put it back in here, seal it up, and then you have a solid case to keep all your stuff protected, which is really nice. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch microphones. I'm gonna get this mic plugged in to my camcorder, just like that, and we're gonna see how good it sounds. Okay, so I'm about to switch over the, the camera microphone right now. Uh, I have been using a Ceramonic uh, condenser mic, and that's what I'm recording and what you're hearing right now. So I'm gonna flip the microphone around to the CVM VM102, and you can hear the audio difference. All right, so I just plugged in the CVM VM102 into my Canon camcorder, and no recording. It, it did not pick up the audio at all. I had a little bit of buzzing sound, uh, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. But I did try the cable for the smartphone, which for me is actually more important because I need it for my smartphone. Uh, I need a more quality kind of a condenser mic when I do, you know, I'm out vlogging somewhere or something like that. I need a better mic. A lot of times I'll use like a lapel mic, a little lavalier, but it's good to have, you know, options. So I put this little guy with my iPhone lightning connector adapter into my iPhone, just like yay. So then what I would do is I would mount this to a, um, a smartphone mount and then have the, you know, the microphone kind of sitting like this or maybe on this side away from the camera. So it's going to pick up my audio quality. So I did do two videos, uh, one without the mic and one with the mic. So you can hear the difference and I'll put those uh, coming up right after this clip. All right, so I'm outside across the street from my house and it's it's kind of a windy day. I don't know if you can hear the wind blowing in the camera mic, but um, I have the CVM VM102 right here and I'm gonna hook that up in a minute and then I'll hook it up with the, uh, the dead mouse as well so you can hear the sound quality uh, on a windy day. So uh, this is straight from my iPhone, no external mic at all. All right, so now I have the CVM VM102 shotgun condenser mic hooked up to my iPhone and just recording directly from the, the shotgun mic on my little vlogging setup and maybe you can tell a difference maybe not but that's why we're doing this video so hopefully you can hear a difference and now what I'm gonna do is just because it's pretty windy um, it's not terribly windy but it's windy enough what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, put the dead mouse on which I have right here in my pocket so I'm going to put that on and hopefully that'll take a good amount of the sound wind noise down. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so now I have the dead mouse installed on the mic. It's still the same windy day. Um, you can tell by the tree behind me. It's pretty windy. So hopefully you can tell a difference in wind noise reduction. And uh, yeah, so if you were using your camera or your iPhone as a vlogging setup, but you wanted, you know, a wind reduction because it's so windy out, you know, you're out there, you're you're shooting your video, and then all of a sudden you have a bunch of <laughs> you can't hear anything. That sucks. Your audio quality is just diminished and pretty much ruins the whole video. When you have a good mic uh, with a good wind muff, this is really going to help out and give you much better audio quality for your videos. Uh, if you're a vlogger, you're shooting a lot of video outdoors, or even if you're just shooting a bunch of video with the family. Other than that, I hope you hear a uh, sound quality difference and that's the conclusion of this review. So as I said, the CVM VM102 uh, shotgun condenser mic from Comica, it worked just fine when I connected it to my smartphone. I think it's a good mic. It sounds good, the quality is good. There is no adjustments to it, so it kind of, it is what it is. Uh, there's no filters or boost or anything like that. But when I used it with my Canon camcorder, Nada. I didn't get any sound whatsoever, but a small humming, buzzing sound. So I'm not really sure what's going on there, but I'll contact Comica and see if it's something I'm doing wrong. I don't think so, because it's pretty much plug into plug, and then you start recording, and then the mic does the rest. So I don't think it's anything that I was doing wrong. I think it may just be my camcorder is not compatible with this mic, because other condenser mics, like my Ceramonic mic, works totally fine. Uh, Rode mic that I used was totally fine. Uh, other mics, uh, the other Comica mic that I used, um, the other shotgun mic that I used from Comica, the one that's much bigger, uh, that one worked fine. So I don't really know. Maybe it is a problem. Maybe it's the cable. I, I don't honestly don't know. But I am going to try the a different cable on that mic and see if that is the solution.
Okay, so I tried a separate cable um, from another shotgun mic uh, to the camera to the Comica mic. Still nothing. So I don't think it's the cable. I tried two separate cables. Neither one of them recorded audio. Um, but when I used the mic with my smartphone, much different. You know, we got audio, clear audio, and it was much louder. So uh, just take that with a grain of salt. Uh, it did not work with my particular camcorder. So my camcorder that I'm using right now is a Canon Vixia HFR200. Uh, it's the camcorder I've been using all these years on YouTube. It's a solid camcorder. Uh, it has audio input, which is the reason why I got it. Plus it has two memory card slots. So when one fills up, it automatically starts recording onto the next one. It's a really nice camera. I do like it. And I've used it with several different mics and they've all worked uh, except for this one. Um, but other than that, you know, it works fine for the smartphone. As I said, that's more important to me that it works with the smartphone, not necessarily with this one because this is more of like a stationary camera. My smartphone is more mobile and I would need that to be more of a kind of a vlogging setup. So a shotgun mic, condenser mic would be great uh, for a vlogging setup. Now, as I said, I also use a, a lavalier mic. Um, so I have two different mics that I use when I shoot with my iPhone. I am going to contact Kamika and find out why, or Kamika, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but uh, I am going to contact them and try to get an answer from them on why it wouldn't work with this particular camcorder, so I'm not sure. Other than that, I think it's a pretty good mic uh, for the smartphone. Worked fine for my iPhone 7 Plus, and um, I did not test it on an Android device, but I'm sure it'll probably work fine. If you guys have any questions or comments about the mic, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure you leave those down in my comments section down below, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. It really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. Last but not least, if you like this review and you want to buy one of these for your smartphone uh, or your DSLR, uh, maybe even mirrorless camera, make sure you use that link down in my description box down below as that helps support my YouTube channel and my website. So I really appreciate all the help, love, and support you guys have shown me over the past couple years. Thanks again for tuning into my latest video. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, camera and vlogging setups, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.